Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from Ega Tech. Here at my table, I've got four mid-range phones that are roughly priced around the same and we're going to be putting them through a benchmark test. So I'm going to be running N22, Geekbench and 3 Mark to see which one of these phones perform the best. So starting from the left, I've got the Nubia Red Magic 6R the Redmi K40 Gaming Edition and this is the Bruce Lee version, the Realme GT Neo 2 and this is the Dragon Ball Z Edition and I've got Samsung's latest mid-range phone which is the Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G. So let's go ahead and put these phones to the test. Alright so before we begin some key specifications on the phones. The Nubia Red Magic 6R has a Snapdragon 888 and it has 12GB of RAM and 256GB of UFS 3.1 storage. The Redmi K40 Gaming Edition also has 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage and it has the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 chip. The Realme GT Neo 2 has the Snapdragon 870 and it's also carrying 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. In terms of chipset, the weakest among the four is actually the Samsung A52s 5G. It only has the Snapdragon 778G and this phone also has the lowest RAM. It only has 8GB of RAM and 128GB of UFS storage. Now in terms of the game space or the game center, all of the three phones actually have one except for the Samsung A52s 5G. So to turn on the Nubia one, you just actually go to the game space. And you launch the game space on the Redmi phone or the K4D Gaming Edition. You've got Game Turbo. Realme also has its own game space. And in terms of the Samsung, it only has a feature called Game Booster and you can specify the game performance here. You can put it as uh, focusing on performance or you can put it on balanced and there's also a power saving mode but of course we'll keep it on performance mode. Alright, so doing the Antutu benchmark test, I'm just going to run it once. Uh, all these phones are actually pretty cold. So we'll see how hot it gets during the test and we'll see which of these phones get the highest score. So starting the test in 3, 2, 1. Alright guys, the test is done and as expected, the Nubia Red Magic 6R with the Snapdragon 888 actually scored the highest with a score of 823,227. In second place, we've got the Realme GT Neo 2 with the Snapdragon 870 with 731,996. In third place, we've got the K40 Gaming Edition with 688,538 and in last place, we've got the Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G with a score of just 501,630. In terms of the temperature, you can see here, the hottest phone among the four is actually the K40 Gaming Edition hitting 42.3 degrees Celsius, followed by the Snapdragon 888 at 41, a pretty cool 37.2 on the Realme GT Neo 2, and the A52s 5G was a pretty cool 30.2. The phone that lost the most battery was the Red Magic 6R at 6%, 4% on the K40 Gaming Edition, and 3% on both the Realme and the Samsung. So for this next test, I'm going to be running the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. It's going to be a 20 minute test. It's going to run the test 20 times and it's going to be producing a best and lowest score. And it's going to let you know how stable in terms of the frames per second that each of these phones can achieve. So let's go ahead and start the 3D Mark Wildlife Stress Test in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so the test is done. 
The Red Magic 6R scored the highest at 1503 with a low loop score of 1492. Stability was pretty good at 99.3%. Same case for the Redmi K40 Gaming Edition, it also has a stability of 99.3. Best loop score 1291. Low loop score 1282. Pretty similar story on the Realme GT Neo 2 1234 on the best loop score and the lowest loop score 1230. So in the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test, the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 chip actually beat out the Snapdragon 870, which is the complete opposite from what happened on the Antutu benchmark test. The stability is a bit better here at 99.7%. Stability is at 99.7% on the Samsung Galaxy A. 52 s 5G but it actually scored half of the other three phones over here. So the Snapdragon 778G is showing that it's not really capable of high level gaming. And not to go down to the battery, it actually lost 6% on the Samsung Galaxy A52 s 5G. Temperature pretty cool 29 degrees and the frame rate's worth was a pretty low 3 to 5. A 9% battery drop on the Realme GT Neo 2 and temperature didn't get too hot as well. It only hit 36 degrees and the frame rate actually ranged from 5 to 11. On the Redmi K40 Gaming Edition, battery went down by 10%, temperature went up as high as 38 degrees and the frame rate was pretty similar at 5 to 10. Now continuing with the trend that the Red Magic 6R has pretty poor battery life, it actually lost around 21% just from this 20 minute test. So it went from 91% and we ended up at 70% on the battery. Temperature actually spiked up the highest. Because we all know that the Snapdragon 888 gets the hottest, so it actually hit a pretty toasty 48 degrees Celsius. So the frame rate actually ranged from 7 FPS all the way up to 13. So pretty surprising here guys, not much thermal throttling happening on any of these phones. And this is even without any internal fan on the Red Magic 6R. Alright, starting Geekbench 5 and 3, 2, 1. So there is a bit of a surprise here guys. The Realme GT Neo 2 actually beat out the Snapdragon 888 carrying Red Magic 6R. It had the highest single core score of 1006 and it also had the highest multi-core score of 3123. And the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 also beat out the Snapdragon 888. It scores 820 on the single core and 2971 on the multi-core score. 781 on the Red Magic 6R with the multi-core of 2856. So it might have to do with temperature but I did give it enough time to cool down. I'll probably rerun the test at a later date and see if there is a bug with Geekbench 5 in terms of uh, running it on the Snapdragon 888. The Samsung Galaxy A52 S5 5G didn't do too bad on the CPU score. It had the 743 single core score and a multi core score of 2672. So I guess this chip actually does pretty well on the CPU side, but in terms of the GPU performance, it's a bit lacking. So now we're going to be running the compute test. We'll keep it at OpenCL and let's run the test in 3, 2, 1. So there is another surprise here, the Redmi K40 Gaming Edition with the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 chip actually ran away with this one with a high score of 4809. Coming in in second place, we've got the Snapdragon 870 on the Realme GT Neo 2 with a score of 3647. In third place, the Red Magic 6R with 3023. And in last place, we've got the A52S 5G with 2206. So before I wrap up the video, here are the graphs of the results that I got from these three benchmark tests.
So in most of my benchmark comparison videos, you guys are asking me which of these phones actually won. In terms of maximum performance, I'll have to give the trophy to the Red Magic 6R. But performance is just one part of the equation. Because the scores are too far apart, so you have to consider other aspects of the phone. You'll have to consider the price of the phone as well as the battery life. And even though you do get the best performance from the Red Magic 6R because it has the fastest chip, which is the Snapdragon 888, it actually has the the smallest battery at just 4200 mAh. So if you're going to be primarily using your phone for gaming, then I can recommend these three phones. So I've got the Redmi K40 Gaming Edition, the Realme GT Neo 2, and the Red Magic 6R. These three phones are in approximately the same price range. Even the Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G is around the same price range, but for the performance that you're getting uh, with the phone, uh, I can't really recommend it if all you're going to be doing is gaming. And as most of us know, Benchmark only tells half of the story. So I'm going to be doing another video where I'm going to be testing these phones in actual games. So make sure that you turn on your notifications so that you'll be the first to know once those videos are up. So I guess I'll go ahead and end this Benchmark test between these four phones. As usual, a sub would be massively appreciated. Please like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification, and see you all in my next one.